Okay guys, so today we will learn how to clone a voice and make it say whatever you want. But remember this is a completely educational video and the methods in this tutorial should only be used for commercial and recreational purposes. We and the platform showed here are not responsible for how you use this app. So the first thing we'll do is click on the link at the description for 11 Labs. It is recommended to create your account for what we'll do in this video. Then, for cloning the voice by using an audio or video, you need to click on Upgrade Plan down below. We'll be using the Starter Plan, which has the functionality we need. In the date of this video, you can get it first month for $1. Coming back to the main page, we'll go to Voices. Here, we'll click on Add Generative or Cloned Voice. We will select the Instant Voice Cloning option, but again, it requires the Starter Plan to work. Then, we'll click or drag an audio file to the box to start the cloning process. You have to provide it a name, for example, my voice, and also a description. Make sure you have the files you want, then accept the terms that you have the right to use that recording and click on edit voice. Depending on the amount of time you have, it may take longer to process. After doing so, the new voice will appear in the voices tab. We'll go back to speech and start doing our voicing process. You can either do it by typing what you wanted to say in the wished language, or use your own mic to record it and the platform will match it to the cloned voice. To make sure it recognizes your language, go to voice settings and pick a model. We'll be using today the default model available, which will recognize multiple languages. We'll be working with English, Portuguese and Spanish in this tutorial. Okay, so right now we are here at the desktop. I don't know if you noticed, but that wasn't me sweet voice speaking. That was a completely AI generated voice of mine which I showed you, which I just showed you how to make. And I'm going to use a friend of mine voice in order to, to do this. So I asked a friend of mine to use her own voice to show you an example of how it works. So I will use first the text to speech option. So I already have her voice generated here, the Rodriguez one. So I'll, I'll play an example for you to see how she sounds like. Excellence is not a skill, it is an attitude. So here we go. It sounds perfect to me. So let's click here and select our model. And the voice settings are these settings. Everything on default. So it recognizes all the three languages. So let's start by typing something. We will start by English. It is very pleasant to play the guitar and sing at the same time at the beach. And here we go. So there's also this functionality here, which is called speech to speech. So I'll be using my microphone to do this. I'll be saying something in the microphone and she will be reproducing what I just said in her own voice. So I'll, you can either upload your audio or record your audio. So I'll be recording the audio. I'll click here. I'll be pressing this button. And allowing the microphone. É muito prazeroso tocar violão e cantar ao mesmo tempo na praia. Ok, so let's play it. É muito prazeroso tocar violão e cantar ao mesmo tempo na praia. And I'll click on generate speech. So she'll be saying that in the same language, which is Portuguese. É muito prazeroso tocar violão e cantar ao mesmo tempo na praia. That wasn't good. Let's see on text if it works better. É muito prazeroso tocar violão e cantar ao mesmo tempo na praia. Yeah, it sounds better when we type it. Let's see in Spanish now. É um placer tocar a guitarra e cantar ao mesmo tempo na praia. É um placer tocar a guitarra e cantar ao mesmo tempo na praia. Yeah, it sounded better than, than doing it in Portuguese. Let's see if we type it. Es un placer tocar la guitarra y cantar al mismo tiempo en la playa. Yeah, it sounded better, but just remember that like her voice, we mainly have I only provided recordings of her speaking in Portuguese. So when I put her to speak a different language like Spanish, it wouldn't sound so natural as the native language that she, she spoke, for example, in this case Portuguese. She sounded great in English because I have also provided some recordings of her in English. 
so that's why it sounded better in English and in Portuguese. But I didn't provide her any recordings of her speaking Spanish, so that's why in Spanish it didn't sound so natural. And I don't know why it didn't sound like that good when I spoke it and make her speak it in the same way, because the recording that I provided was very clear. I don't know what happened, but as you could see, the text-to-speech option is the best that you can use to create these AI-generated voices. But remember to only use this tool to, to produce your own content. So for example, we can use the other voices that are provided by the platform. We can come here to the voice library and we can see other voices too. The scheduling tool is based on Microsoft Project Online and enables project and program teams to easily plan and monitor their projects. As usual at this delightful house where I often spent Christmas, there had been no lack of entertainment. Hey there, it's Christy Carlson Romano. You might recognize me from Disney's iconic animated series, Kim Possible, or from popular TV shows like Even Stevens. Beyond the screen, I've graced the Broadway stage as Belle in Beauty and So with this tool, you can create your YouTube videos, like if you're shy to speak, you can use this tool to, to create content. Remember, just use this platform to your content creation process, your commercial process, and use it with a very good responsibility.